today I'm going to film a favourites video. I haven't done one of these in so long and a lot of people have been requesting to see like a few beauty products that I've been loving because obviously before I had before I had Ellie I was kind of talking more about beauty stuff rather than baby stuff now so I thought I would kind of include everything so there's beauty, a bit of fashion, not a lot, random stuff like around the household, um, Ellie's stuff that she's been loving, I think that's it. So um, yeah I hope you enjoy these videos, please let me know if you want these kind of every month. Um, I know I'm a bit late doing November so I'm just going to call this what I'm currently loving or something like that. I'm going to start off with beauty. Um, so, I'll start off with makeup. Now, being a mum, I really don't wear makeup a lot now. Um, I only wear it if I really need to or if I'm filming. So these products are very boring and they're kind of what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I am absolutely loving these products. I use these every single, I wouldn't say every day because I don't wear makeup every day, but every time I use makeup, I go to these. So a foundation that I'm loving and I've probably mentioned this a few times in like previous videos, but it's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation. And I absolutely love this stuff. It's so lightweight, it's not cakey, it's not thick. It actually feels like you're not wearing any foundation, but it leaves your skin looking so flawless. Um, and I just absolutely love it, love it. It says it lasts for 16 hours, I'm not too sure about that. Um, but I completely, hands down, always go for this foundation. If I was going out for a night out or somewhere like a bit more fancy and I want... Um, more kind of coverage and it to last longer. I always use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid um, but for every day I use this so I love this. Um, concealer that I've been loving and Ellie has broken it. Um, it's the MAC Studio, Con I don't actually know what this is, hold on. Studio Finish Concealer, so MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC16 or 15? 15. Um, absolutely love this. I have had this for so long and there's still loads left. Um, but obviously Ellie has broken it so I'll probably have to get a new one soon. But I've had this for like two years and it still lasted me. I absolutely love this um, for my under eye circles and my skin's been pretty bad lately. Um, so this is just brilliant for hiding everything. Um, for I know it's pretty expensive, but I do think it's worth it because this little pot lasts for absolute ages. And I think I've got this with like my Mac gift card like ages ago. So yeah, if you're looking for a really good concealer that covers up dark circles or you know spots stuff like that, then definitely check out this. Sorry if I'm going really fast, by the way, but I've got quite a lot of things to talk about. Um, lip products I've been loving, obviously because it's winter now, um, I have been looking for a really good lip butter. And this is the Corez um, lip butter in pink with SPF 15. Sorry, that was a bit of a mouthful. And it just looks like this, so it's just a lip balm, but it's got a pink tint to it. I've actually got it on now, and sometimes I just wear this on its own. It is so moisturising for the lips and it smells so good it's got sheer butter and sunflower wait sunflower wax and um, so this is a really good lip balm if you're looking for one i used to use vaseline but that didn't actually do anything for my lips i just kept smothering it on all the time and it never kind of helped with my dry or chapped lips but this really really does so and i've also got it in the clear one it's in like a gray tube so I think they've got a clear and a pink one. A lipstick that I've been loving, again, it's probably been mentioned a thousand times, but it's my YSL um, in shade 15. And again, had this for so long, still lasting me. It's a really pretty, pale, nudish pink. Oh, I love this so much. I got this. When I went to Ireland at the duty free, it's been ages now. This is just so gorgeous. 
and it feels like silk on your lips like it's like butter but that is the color very very good quality and it lasts for ages and looks great with anything it's like a classic pink nude a mascara that i've been loving is the l'oreal double extension mascara oh my god this mascara is amazing um i've got quite a few of these because i love it that much but i don't actually use the white end i only use the white end if i'm going out you know and I want I think it's more of a like primer the white bit but the actual mascara wand is absolutely amazing it really gets every single individual individual lash and it just gives it length and volume and I just absolutely love it I think this is in carbon black as well so it's like really really dark and black um, so if you're after a new mascara I would really recommend this there is another one, but I can't remember what it's called. It's in like a golden blue tube. But this is my favourite one out of all of them. A perfume that I've been loving, and as you can tell, literally run out. There's like one more spray left. I've been loving this. My mum got me this for Mother's Day, just gone, like last year. Um, it's the YSL L perfume. Oh my god, this is it's a lot different to what I would go for. I usually go for quite sweet and fruity scents. This is a more evening scent. I would definitely def definitely recommend this for like a night out with the girls. Um, it's very, very heavy and it lasts on your skin or clothes the whole night. Um, I don't know how to describe it really. All I know is it's very feminine and sexy and yeah that's all I can really say about it but it's just such a beautiful perfume and of course the packaging is beautiful as well um okay so I got sent a few stretch mark creams to try out and um I have been using Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula for absolutely years I remember when I used to go to Ibiza with one of my best friends um, it used to be our moisturiser and it just really reminds me of holiday I don't know why it's got that kind of sun cream cocoa butter smell to it um, and I know it's uh, particularly aimed for stretch marks but I still used it even when I was like 16, 17 going on to like teenage years I just used it as a moisturiser because I loved it that much it is so rich and creamy and it's just brilliant so I think recently they've bought out a new range and I was sent to try them out and after a baby obviously I've got a few stretch marks I've got them on my boobs and a few on my upper legs but I have none on my stomach which I was really really happy about um, but I have been after a stretch mark cream for quite a while and I was definitely eyeing up these in Superdrug um, but I didn't see the new ones in there, so I was so glad that I received these. Um, so I'll show you a few of them I was sent, but I'll show you kind of the ones that are more my favourite. Um, so I was sent the Skin Therapy Oil with Vitamin E, and of course it helps with scars, stretch marks, dry damaged skin, ageing skin, all that kind of stuff. Now, I tried this out once. And it is obviously, because it's an oil, it is very, very oily and greasy. Um, but I think this would be more suitable for if I was pregnant, to kind of like, you know, slather my body in this oil. But because obviously I'm not pregnant now and I have a baby, um, obviously it's just a bit messy for me because obviously I'm carrying around her and I'm running around after her. So, yeah, um, it does dry you know pretty quick I wouldn't say it dries very very quick because it's an oil it's not a lotion um, but if you are pregnant definitely check out the oils because it's definitely more suited for pregnant women again with the tummy butter um, just looks like this I don't know if you can see but I'm like I've got all finger marks in there and um, this is a tummy butter it does the exact same thing but this is more of an intense treatment it's so it even says in the packaging intensive treatment and um, again this is very very oily 
um, very greasy but again if I was pregnant I would slather this all over my stomach to prevent stretch marks so um, definitely check out these two kind of oil based um, formulas but the ones I've been really really loving and again they remind me of um, when I was using them back in the day but they're just in kind of different formulas is the massage lotion for stretch marks so this is basically the lotion but more of a um, different all over formula so they're both the same they come in either a kind of tube like this or the squirty pump I prefer the squirty pump because it's just a bit more practical for me um, and I'm always in a rush applying a uh, moisturiser because I'm literally getting out of the bath, putting moisturiser on and then dealing to Ellie. So um, I definitely prefer the lotion. I love this stuff. This one really, really kind of dries quickly. It sinks into your skin a lot faster than the oil. Um, and the smell is just incredible. Like if you love cocoa butter or shea butter, you will definitely love this range. And I'm sure a lot of you have tried um, Palmer's cocoa butter formula um, I know I had a lot of samples when I was pregnant um, but I just finished them like that so yeah been loving these they have actually helped with my stretch marks the one of my boobs are kind of still there but they're definitely fading and the ones on my legs are nearly gone so I've been using this for a month I'd, I'd say a bit more than a month and I've, yeah I've been definitely um, seeing results with these two items Next, for the bath time, I've been loving these, which is the Imperial Leather Foam, Bar Foam Burst Body Wash. And basically, I've got one upstairs. It's the purple one. This is the uh, Sea Minerals version. I love this stuff because you literally need one little tiny, tiny pump of it and um, it will cover your whole body and it really, really lathers up well. Smells absolutely amazing as well. And it says that it lasts for 40 washes and I do think it's true. Next, a fake tan that I've been loving and I only use this on kind of like nights out or if we've got occasions. Uh, but it's the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Fresh Fill Gel. And basically, as you can see, I only have a tiny bit left. This stuff is so good. Um, it is quite greasy on the skin but it does kind of sink in quicker than other things like I know that when I used to use sprays uh, they'd leave my skin feeling so wet and greasy but this dries a bit more quicker than a spray um, but the actual colour of this is so nice it's just so dark and I find this comes out quite even compared to other ones um, but obviously it does have a bit of a smell to it but overall I love how it applies it's very very easy to apply and I also love the colour um, and it's very affordable as well this one so I've been loving that um, okay fashion stuff there's literally I wouldn't even call this fashion but I've been loving bobble hats because obviously it's cold and it's wintry this one is from Next and it's just a cream cable knit bobble hat with obviously the pom-pom and I also have the matching scarf with this as well but yeah I've been loving loving beanie hats and Christmas jumpers so the one I have on today is obviously from Next um, I got this when we went to Winter Wonderland and it's just got like snowflakes and like a feral print but yeah I've been loving Christmas jumpers and I've also been loving them for Ellie as well um, so that is it with fashion because I li literally live in my pyjamas um, every single day. Um, okay, random stuff. I'm going to get on with random stuff. So, I have been loving this water bottle. Now, I've had this for about over a month now and I wanted to try it out before I kind of spoke about it. It was sent to me um, and to do a review on but I'm going to mention it in my favourites because it is one of my favourites this month. Um, obviously... I love it because it's pink and lately I haven't been drinking as much water as I should be. If you know when I was pregnant, even ask Paul, Paul couldn't believe how much water I drank when I was pregnant um, and I was doing so well, you know, I felt a lot better, my skin was really good when I was pregnant 
and I just stopped like as soon as Ellie was born I just stopped drinking water and I kind of turned more to fizzy drinks and you know the crappy drinks so when I sent this it was kind of like a more of more of a motivation to me to start drinking more water for myself and it really has helped now I used to buy uh, bottles of water and I still love that but it is so expensive and it can really really add up when you buy you know quite a few bottles of water and um, so what I love about this is obviously you can wash it up so every day when you're finished with it you can wash it up fill it up with water pop it in the fridge which I love I love water when it's like ice cold and what I love also about it is it has has like a built-in filter so it hasn't got a nasty odor it tastes you know like filtered water there's nothing worse than tasting like manky tap water so I absolutely love this and it is brilliant what I love also about it is it's got this kind of like wristband at the bottom and when you first receive it you kind of turn it on there's like a little power button here and it's got like a little dial thing here and when it's full like mine is nearly full as you can see and um, that means you need to replace your filter um, oh it says what it is it's a, it's a time strap indicator so when it's full up you just replace your filter which you can buy and I'll put all the links down below where you can buy this and I'm also giving one away so kindly the company said that I can give one away if you'd like to win one of these in your colour choice then leave me a comment on what colour you'd like also go to their I think they've got Facebook and Twitter and follow them and that's literally all you have to do so yeah for your chance on winning that so yeah, it's got a replaceable filter and it's a, I think it's a 130 litres, I'm not too sure. I think it holds 130 litres, but it's just brilliant because you're saving money. You don't have to buy bottles of water every time you go food shopping, you can just fill this up. And also if you go to the gym or on holiday, you do a lot of sports, then it's really, really practical for that. I know Paul really wants one in uh, blue or black, if they do blue, so I might get him one for... Christmas but yeah I really 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 ugh. I really recommend this the company is called water to go and like I said if you want to win one of these then all the information would be down in the description box okay moving on to my randoms I've been loving candles as always um these have got to be some of my favorites I got this in a free pack and they're the mini size ones oh my god if they done this in a giant version which they might do they might do a bigger version than this oh I need to buy this stuff Um, basically there was a free set there was another one called Dolly Rock I think but um, I had to chuck that one because it's completely gone and these have run out as well so that's how much I've been loving them but they are by a company called Lily Flame and I got these from a department store but you can get them online um, Amazon I think but there was a set of three like I said my absolute favorite ones out of the three are blush and fairy dust this is my favorite one fairy dust it is so girly oh my god it smells like I don't know just like girly heaven it is they're quite similar this one's more of a Oh, they're so hard to explain. I, I'm really, really bad at explaining. But if you go on the website, the full descriptions are there. But I guarantee, if you love girly scents, this set of three would be ideal for you. Um, so yeah, I've been absolutely loving these candles. Next, another smelly for the house is this Glade um, Air Fresh. This is the Fresh Tropical Mist scent. Absolutely love this. Um, it was on offer in Tesco's, really, really cheap, so I picked it up. And I just like to spray this if you know the house is not smelling too good or we have um, visitors coming over. Really sorry, I keep looking in the um, screen and not the actual lens, so I'm really sorry that I keep doing that. But yeah, really, really love this stuff. It smells so fruity and fresh, and you can also spray it on fabric as well, so like your bed sheets. Um, this is going to be a really long video, I'm really sorry. Um, another thing, coffee. 
love coffee. I always have tea in the morning and then I have coffee like throughout the day to kind of keep me going. <laughs> um, but this is the Cartier Noir Classic Velvet and Rich Coffee. I absolutely love this stuff. I used to use Nescafe and I'm not hating on Nescafe but I will never go back to Nescafe now that I've tried this. Um, before I wasn't really a coffee person before but now, now I'm mum, I kind of need it. Um, but this is just so gorgeous to have. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for a good coffee and it's reasonable price as well, I think it's about £4 for this big jar, um, definitely try out this. Okay, okay, a few more random things that I've been loving. Um, I had to write it down because I know I'll just forget this on the top of my head. I have been loving Real Housewives of every single one. Um, I really love the Real Housewives of oh Melbourne, is it Melbourne? The one in Australia. Um, my absolute favourite is Orange County but they only show the old ones so if you're a big fan of it and you know when it, the new ones are coming to the UK please let me know because me and my mum are obsessed with it so be loving that. Um, obviously Towie, loving Towie. Um, what else? Okay, I've been loving Ed Sheeran. Um, I really want his album for Christmas. I love Thinking Out Loud and his new one that he just done on the X Factor. He's just absolutely amazing. One of my favourite artists out there. Um, I've I was loving I'm a Celebrity. Obviously, it's over now, but oh, I was hooked on that, and I really loved Jimmy. So if you've been watching, if you have been watching I'm a Celebrity, let me know who your favourite was. I liked Kendra. She got a bit annoying towards the end, and I loved Jimmy, but I was happy that Foggy won it. Um, and then a few things on my phone that I've been loving is, okay, I've got to get it up. I have been loving this app, I'll probably do a close up of it, this app called Heads Up. It is amazing. If you like charades, then this is very similar. I found this app through watching, oh, it was either Zoe or Tanya's vlog, but they, um, all four of them done this app together and it looked like so much fun. And we, me and Paul absolutely love this. We have like laughing fits because it's so funny when you're trying to act out and the other person's like, what? Um, so yeah, it's a free app. It's called Heads Up. I will try and do a close up of it, but um, I will link a video down below where Zoe and Tanya and all them play it, but it's just hilarious. And also, it's a brilliant game to play at Christmas. If you're with all your family at Christmas and, you know, you've got board games and stuff like that, but this is just so much fun and I guarantee you'll be in hystericals after. So, I've been loving that. I've also been loving the Countdown Plus app, I think it's called. I'm not too sure. Countdown Plus Light. I'm not too sure what it's called. But basically it's a countdown app and it basically count down your counts down your events. So I've got Christmas, New Year's Eve, my birthday, Paul's birthday, our anniversary and our holiday on there. So currently while I'm filming this, it's five days and twelve hours till Christmas. Oh my god. Near the time it gives you reminders saying like, you know, four days to Christmas and you can put photos as well on it and it's just really good to get excited about events coming up. So that is all my random favourites out there and I'm going to get on to a few of Ellie's favourite stuff. Now I've only picked out a few because she just loves so much and especially food. When it okay so some of Ellie's favourites, I've wrote down a few because I don't have them to hand. But she's been loving fruit this month, um, especially oranges and bananas. She's a massive fruit person. Um, she loves milky buttons, books, music. Oh my god, her and music. If I put music on in the background or if an advert comes on with music, she will just start dancing away. It's so cute. And if you've seen some of my videos, you'll know that she just loves music. Um, so I think she's going to be a DJ when she's older. She loves Tilly, our cat. Now a lot of people have been asking about Millie. My mum has got Millie because when we were moving it was just so hectic with two cats. Um, and my mum's cat 
sadly passed away, Jen, if you remember her back in my videos. So, you know, it was a hard time for her and I thought, I have a cat for you, Mum. But I see her every single week and she's doing really, really well. Um, and we'll probably have her back because um, my mum's moving house. So we'll probably have her back in a few more months. But yeah, um, we've got Tilly at the moment and Ellie absolutely adores her. Um, I've been loving baby powder for Ellie as well. Um, I, I use it religiously after baths, after every nappy change. Baby powder is a must have. Um, and also I've got a few things to show you. She's been loving her dolly that she got for her birthday. And it's really soft um, and she just loves holding it and what she loves about it is bleh, what she loves about it the most is it's got a magnetic dummy um, and she's really clever like I say to her put the dummy on the baby and she knows like she knows where the mouth is and then she pulls it off again and puts it on her mouth she's very good very good and she points to like certain parts of the baby doll um, so yeah, I'm not sure where this was from, it was a gift, but it's so cute, she loves this little little dolly. Another product for Ellie that I've been loving, again I was sent this with a, um, it was like a nappy cream, I think it was called protection cream, but out of the two I've been absolutely loving this. So um, if you know Sophie the Giraffe, which is a teething toy, Ellie's got one, um, then they've bought out their own products, so they're called... Sophie La Giraffe Baby and obviously it's French. You can get this from Boots um, and their website I think. There might be other places but I will leave a link down below. This is the Gentle, My Gentle and Mild Hair and Body Wash um, and the packaging. First of all I love the packaging. It's so sleek and classy. Um, you know Compared to Johnson's, this is just like luxury. It, it looks very luxurious. Um, and it's got the kind of like pump. Smells, it does smell very similar to Johnson's. It smells like Johnson's baby lotion, I think. Or baby shampoo, I think it's the lotion it smells like. But it's got a beautiful scent to it. It's very, very mild for your baby. I was very nervous on trying this because Ellie's got very sensitive skin. Um, but this is so gentle on her skin and it leaves her feeling really, really soft, and it really, um, because it's a hair wash as well, it really, really cleans and lovers her hair. Um, so yeah, I really recommend this. I'm not sure how much this is. I know it is a bit more pricier, but I do think it's worth it. And also, if you know a expecting mother, or she's hosting a baby shower, this would be a really nice product to put in like a hamper, or like a new mum hamper it's just so pretty the bottle so yeah really really rec recommend that I will leave a link down she's been loving these which are pasta shapes in tomato sauce and obviously you can get all different characters you can get Peppa Pig, Hello Kitty and um, I like to give this like once a week and um, I always buy these to stock up in the cupboard and um, they're just really handy to have if we've got no food and she can have it with like a slice of bread or some vegetables soy corn anything um, but yeah, she absolutely loves these. She like scoffs them down. Um, and then, last of all, she's been loving books. Um, especially, I like getting the hardback books just because, you know, when she turns the page, she can be as rough as she can because they're not going to tear. Um, but a few that she's been loving is uh, Peepo. And it's just a really beautiful story of a baby and the baby can see things like the nan and food and stuff like that and she just loves when I read it to her because I go peepo like that and um, it's a really really lovely book really recommend this one and another one kind of more Christmassy one oh my god she's obsessed with this one she just points and giggles and she can turn pages now this one was a bargain it was I got it from a garden centre, but it's saying it's $16, but I got it for $2.99, so it's a really lovely story. It's got glitter as well. Um, I'll show you, it's got like glitter. You can't really see. Yeah, she's just really, really into books at the moment, which is lovely to see. So yeah, that is my monthly favourites. I hope you enjoyed this really long video. Um, I will leave all the links down below if you want to enter the giveaway for the water bottle and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.